All right, so here is the fallout from yesterday's uh, yesterday's fine work. I should turn on the light over here. Yes. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, we had an incident with my couch with, that we brought back from my mom's place, and uh, we couldn't get it down the stairs, so this is what the couch looks like today. <laughs> I haven't shown my mother because she probably would cry. This is what the inside of a couch looks like, in case you're wondering. So that's one piece of the couch, and the other piece is uh, right there against the wall. So we need to take that piece, I'm pointing like they can see my finger, yeah. and, and put it there. We need to put it on there. Right. This that area right vicinity. around there, that, that general vicinity. And then it attaches to that piece, which we didn't wreck, which is, which is nice. It's and if you notice, we're saying try. Uh, so, oh, excuse yeah. wow. wow, that was my morning breakfast. Sorry about yeah. that. I forgot where I was there for a second. That was my morning protein drink coming back to haunt me. Anywho, so this is it. And uh, D-Dog and I are going to give it a shot and see what happens here. Because uh, I will be shocked and amazed and very proud of, our, of us if we can get this to work. But anyways, we'll be sitting on it later. If he sinks through, you never see him again. We know it didn't work. But uh, if we're sitting on it very happily, uh, we know it works. So... Uh, so we talked today about the couch that was completely destroyed and um, uh, Darren and I worked on it pretty much for, I don't know, two, th two hours, at least a couple hours, hours anyways. Yeah. We worked on the couch and we were a little nervous about putting a couch back together. Have you ever put a couch together? It's, if you've never s ch uh, cut a couch in two and then try to put it back together, um, if you have, you can relate to this. If you haven't, then you can't really relate. But anyways, it's not a fun thing to do, but we managed to get it done. Beautiful sectional couch. So, anyways, we, we got the room pretty much done. Let me just show you. This is this is what the movie room is going to look like. So we got our posters up. We got our sectional couch. We actually got it put back together. So this is our cool little movie room. And uh, the sectional actually works out great because the middle part of it is a hide -a bed So when Jenica has her friends over, they can just crash down here literally for the whole night. So we still got a little bit of work to do. We're going to get a coffee table and end tables in here, but we've got speakers everywhere. We've got, uh, we've, we're testing out the sound in here, and uh, it's pretty highfalutin. So right there, that's where the TV's going to go, obviously. And um, we've got the sound system all hooked up. We've got all the speakers hooked up. Darren, you want to turn that up just a little tiny bit? Yeah. Just so we can get some sound. just want to see the, get a sound on the, uh, try 48. So you can see we got the speakers going. For those of you who don't know, we're, uh, we're simultaneously broadcasting this on the web right now. So, uh, That's uh, Bon Jovi simultaneously uh, on the web uh, doing something. Broadcasting. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, get the sound going Let's on. Let's take them around, baby. It's called Living on a Prayer. There we go. Oh, oh, Living on a Prayer. So, we have plenty of speakers. We've got two, four, six, seven, eight speakers, uh, including the subwoofer. So, eight speakers in this little room. Is, and um, see what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? Um, it is a beautiful day outside. It's cold, uh, very cold here in the Maritimes. It's probably like two degrees. Uh, and today, uh, we just finished the weekend. The weekend was good. Uh, UFC was on. It was good. George St. Pierre won. Uh, I got I got a workout in today. I can hear my lovely daughter upstairs. She hasn't been feeling good for a couple of days, and she's awfully whiny, and that's what happens. Not my 16-year-old, the two-year-old. Uh, well, she's not two yet, but she's almost two. She's going through her terrible twos right now, but I think she has some teeth coming in. So, anyways, we'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Because I don't know if you remember, I don't know if if, uh, if you as an adult can remember, when you had those little pieces of white steel busting through the skin of your face. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, I think we're all just wimps. And, uh, you know, when we're the reason we go through it when we're little is because we have short memories and we don't remember that excruciating pain. Uh, anyways, imagine having all of those teeth busting through your skin right now. If you're all governor, if you're all just governor, and then we all had those teeth coming through, uh, we'd probably be a little annoyed and a little uh, whiny too. Anyways, 
Uh, moving on. Uh, the diet has uh, been going like this, as uh, probably most of you know. Uh, I tend to go big or go home. I do 100% or nothing. And uh, let's see, I cheated Friday night. I cheated all day Saturday. I cheated all day Sunday. So I had a great weekend, uh, food-wise. Uh, but I'm back on track. And it's just one of those things. Like Life sort of uh, has its ups and downs. And you have things and events and things that go on. But again, I can't reiterate this enough. I can't emphasize this enough. It's all about... The good outweighing the bad. So as long as the good outweighs the bad at the end of the month with your calendar. My calendar looks half decent. doesn't look as good as it did in January. Uh, February uh, looked like the end of February, 1st of March looked like crap uh, because of the move. But uh, I'm trying to get back on track. It's a little harder than I thought getting back on track. Uh, the exercise part seems to be going okay. Uh, but the nutrition part just seems to be a little more difficult than I had expected to get back on track. But it's one of those things. I I'm going to stay focused. I'm going to keep doing it. And uh, my weight is, is hovering about the same, uh, I'm guessing, I haven't weighed myself, but I'm guessing that my weight is, is roughly the same as it was. I'm sure I lost it, put it back on, lost it, put it back on. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to work, I'm going to take the exercise up a notch so I can compensate for the lack of nutrition 100%. Um, and I'm going to try to have a perfect week this week. I'm going to try to avoid going to the movies and things like that uh, because that's the stuff, that's the kind of stuff that just kills me. So um, we'll see what happens. Hope you're having a great day. Um, I hope wherever you are that you have uh, loved ones around you and friends and family that are making you happy, that are keeping you positive and keeping you focused and keeping you on track because you are worth it. No matter what anyone says, no matter what you think, no matter what you've been told, you are definitely worth it. So stay on track. Talk to you soon.